Hello fellow horror geeks, Bob here from cdgeek.com talking about 100 days of horror along with short takes reviews, reviews which do in the course of the last five minutes or less, I hope, uh, once I get things actually moving, but also I want to mention 100 days of horror. Uh, if you've been watching the rest of the channel, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm saying it's for everyone who comes in. Um, looking at 100 days of horror, which is 100 horror films that we haven't seen in the 100 days leading up to Halloween. Uh, watching about one a day, because some of us are a little behind, some of us are a little ahead, we're thinking we're seeing these go from here. I'm a little behind in reviews, this is review number 26, but it's actual day 36, I'm actually day like 45 myself, going to make them up before I get behind with other things, right? Uh, but I am doing, uh, not doing this on YouTube live as I have done in the last like 10 reviews or so, I'm still having issues with my editing software, um, so I'm going to record directly to my camera and put it up as it is with no edits, so any mistakes I make, they're going to be part of it, any, any oddness, but now I have, you know, better sound and better, uh, better video quality in the course of doing it th this way. Uh, but if you want to see what um, everyone else is working on with uh, cityofgeek.com and uh, 100 Days of Horror, follow the link listed down below. You can find the Facebook group uh, by just searching 100 Days of Horror. It's about 190 members now. It has a leather face going like that from the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, give your, uh, talk about what you're talking about, and I'll put it up on the website as well. It's been really fun watching what everyone else is doing and seeing where everyone else is finding. Usually a lot in Shudder, which today's movie comes from. Uh, a lot of us at 100 Days of Horror have watched movies since it popped from Shudder. I think like, as soon as something new pops up, it's being watched by nearly everyone uh, that I know has Shutter. So today's movie is, as the title will show, uh, Get My Gun. I almost keep saying, Get My Beer, or home, because uh, my wife have a joke, like, Beer Me, even though we don't actually drink beer. But that's besides the point. Uh, Get My Gun, released onto Shutter recently in 2019, uh, but has a 2017 date on INDB and a 2018 uh, USA release date in September of last year. But I'm really counting as a 2019 movie because this one's course of most people were able to see it. I think it might have played festivals. I don't know. Uh, but it's written written and directed by Brian Darwas. I had to look my notes. I want to make sure I said that correctly. Um, and it's co-written by Jennifer uh, Caracetta. I normally would, would edit out <laughs> to look things up, but hey, what the heck. Uh, I was getting things as they go. Um, and it stars Kate Hoffman. And I really like this movie a lot. It's, uh, it's you know, showing up in Shudder and glad it's, glad it's getting seen. I'm glad I finally get to see it, uh, though I hadn't heard of it before. I uh, should have if it went through um, festivals before, but this was a really striking film. Uh, I I don't think I've seen anything else Star Wars has done, uh, possibly. Um, I've had to look up to see uh, before I haven't seen Kate Hoffman anything else works. I really want to look her up and see what she had done. She's the lead in this. Um, and this has what's about as we start in Media Reyes with um, uh, it's on Halloween and our main character dressed up as a nun and she has a kid with her and she sees someone, calls a friend and says the title, get my gun. Uh, they take the man, they tie him up, um, and they, they drag him for a bit. And then she says, no, you have two kids after he says, oh, I have a wife and a wife and child. Uh, so it's then of course shown that the that the kid is his, and then we flash back to the beginning of how we got to the situation. Now, from that, you might think it's a rape revenge film, because uh, definitely there's there's the animosity there, and just saying he doesn't recognize her at all. Um, but it actually, isn't quite that. It starts out, then moves into a different genre uh, for the back half, and I really appreciate that because uh, rape revenge movies are, are a tough sell. Uh, if they're done really well, they're done really well, and if they're not, they're really exploitation and not in the good way. Uh, so I was worried coming in that that's where we we're going to go for that, but we uh, we didn't. Um, I'm going to just note here that first, that's the first act is is how this happened to be, and the second act is uh, is our lead character and her friend as they deal with a stalker. Uh, when she decides to possibly put the baby up for adoption and a woman becomes attached to them and gets really creepy from there. So I really appreciated that change in there so we get the two different types of movies. Um, now hopefully it's not too spoilery. I'm not going to go into actual details of what happens in the course of either of those those particular uh, story arcs. Uh, just to note that uh, I really like the way it went. Uh, it was the the acting is phenomenal especially from from Kate Hoffman. She really blew me away. I really can't wait to see her in other things. Um, her new friend at the hotel that they work at uh, is great. They have great chemistry. They feel like fast friends. They meet in the beginning of the movie. Um, they become fast friends in there, and it, that feels really natural. It doesn't feel like just two actresses kind of doing what they need to do um, as they go about their day, and then the, the relationship that forms as, as, as that happens. Um, it was really well shot. It looked uh, phenomenal. It looks like it was probably made for a very low budget, but it does a lot with that. You only have like a handful of characters and only a handful of locations. It does a lot with each of those that doesn't feel that quite so much. We have the hotel, then we have a cabin later on. And between the two of those, you get a lot of, a lot of use from that. You get a lot of, uh, 
a lot of surprises. Actually, I didn't know where particularly each scene was going to go, and I really appreciated that as, as much as I've seen both these type of genres done many times. Uh, it seems like Dawes has um, Darwas has a uh, as a handle of how what people are expecting. Uh, only thing that comes out of that expecting is that the opening credits and um, and title have a ex um, have a 70s grindhouse style presentation from that, and the movie itself doesn't really follow that into so much. I can see those notes there, I can see it going in the background, but it's not filmed in that way. Um, it's not presented in that way. Uh, the plotting kind of falls in that, but the actual film itself doesn't. So when you see that, don't expect to have a, a grindhouse imitation. Uh, in that, so just temper that if you get uh, once you see the title pop up in that particular manner. But that's the only the only real detriment I really have to that movie is, is that particular note. Everything else is finally finally written, finally directed, really well acted. Uh, so I do recommend this. Uh, many people watching this probably already watched it themselves. Watch it. I think most of the people watching this are hundred days of horror people. Um, but I do. Uh, but thank you for watching the review today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See, uh, Hit that bell so when the next video comes up, I'm about to do another one right after this. I'm going to try and do two a day until I catch up. I keep saying that every time. Um, and hopefully I'll get back onto the regular schedule for a couple of the non-horror reviews, non-100 days of horror reviews that I, that I have planned. Just waiting to get everything fixed with my external. Uh, so sorry again about that. So uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, CityGeek.com. Pop us out over there. We should be putting up some new content here and some true crime, some other stuff. New podcast next week with uh, Don't Leave the Latin. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.